Hi, my name is Alexis Hernandez, and I'm the Virtual Content Specialist for Social Studies Grades K through 2 Special Ed. This is going to be a student-facing video that will offer students an alternative to the work time for Kindergarten Unit 1 Day 3. Again, a student-facing video for Kindergarten students in Unit 1 Day 3. Hi, kindergarten friends. What an exciting time in social studies. You guys are learning all about community and your special parts of that community and the special people that make up that community. And each of you are special people that make up our class community. And today you're making self portraits, pictures of yourself to put in our class community to show everyone who is in our class. Now, I know that you can take markers or crayons and draw a picture of yourself, but today I'm gonna to show you a cool way that you can make a self-portrait using some different materials. Today, to make this self-portrait, you're going to need a few pieces of construction paper, a white piece of paper with your name along the bottom, a glue stick or some glue, and then some markers or colored pencils. So that's construction paper, glue stick, a paper with your name on the bottom, and some markers or colored pencils. We're gonna use this construction paper to make construction paper self-portraits. Watch this. A portrait is a picture of someone and not their entire body, but just their face. So I'm gonna show you how I can take this construction paper and make my face. Now I selected this color construction paper because it's sort of like my skin tone. If your skin is paler, maybe you need a different color. If your skin is darker, maybe you need a different color. You'll try to find the construction paper that best matches your skin color. Now, I'm not gonna use any scissors in this project. I'm going to rip and tear this piece of paper to make my portrait. So watch what I do. I know that a head is sort of oval shaped or rounded. So I'm gonna start ripping the paper make a roundish shape. Now, I'm not using scissors. I'm tearing. That means it's not going to be perfect. And guess what? That's a beautiful thing. That makes it really, really unique and amazing. So here is my head shape. See, there's some ridges. It's not a perfect circle but it actually is great. I didn't use any scissors and all I did was tear it. Now, I'm going to put a little glue along this shape for my head and I'm gonna glue it down onto the page that has my name on it. I'm gonna make sure that it fits there it is, glued down. Now, I have the head. I need some more. And I'm gonna try to tear my best shape for lips. That might be pulling one long line and then ripping smaller piece on the inside. Look at that. That looks great. And my lips go where my mouth goes, right down here. So I take my glue again, and I put a little bit of glue down where I want the mouth to go, and then I stick it on. Okay, I've got my head, my mouth. I need some eyes. My eyes are brown. So I'm gonna use brown construction paper. 
maybe your eyes are green or blue, so you'll use that. But here's my brown paper, no scissors needed. I'm just gonna try to rip this oval shape to make my eyes. I'll rip another strip and then I'll create tears from this strip. Maybe this is one eye. And two eyes. And once again, I'll put some glue on my paper. And I'll plop the eyes down. One. And I think I just lost my other eye. That's okay. Rip, rip, rip. And down it goes. Okay, two eyes, my lips, ah, I need my nose. So I'm going to maybe tear another little piece of this skin color and maybe give it a little fold and use that for my nose. A little bit of glue in the middle. And there it goes, there's my nose, okay. Now I think I'm just missing my hair. So my hair is like a reddish, sort of brownish, sort of blondish mix. So I'm gonna start to rip some different strips. And I'll use these to be my hair color. Remember, nothing's gonna be perfect with this self-portrait. It's gonna be unique and different. It's okay we don't have scissors. We get to make all of these beautiful jagged lines to show how unique we are too. So I have my hair and now I just need to add some glue. Put it along the top and on the sides where it's gonna go. Just like this. more pieces down here and I think I need some along the top so maybe I'll rip a little up here for my forehead some more glue so everything sticks wow and maybe I'll cut some of the bottom a little bit add some more tears Hmm, maybe I want to add a ribbon or a bow, something that I like to wear. And now my portrait's almost done. I'm just gonna take my marker or my colored pencils and just add a few last features. Maybe like the centers of my eyes and my lashes. Maybe a few of my freckles that I have. But now, here I have my beautiful self-portrait. And I didn't worry about the imperfections. I didn't worry that it wasn't perfectly cut. I didn't worry that some things are longer and shorter and there's tears. This is my unique, beautiful self-portrait that all I needed to do was rip some construction paper, and now here I am. So I'm gonna challenge you guys today to grab some glue and some construction paper and try to create your self-portrait using some rips and tears. And then all of us will have beautiful self-portraits together to hang in our community. Have fun making them, I can't wait to see them.